like blah blah blah. <laughs> Let's get started. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been some time since I have done a makeup look for you guys. And today I was inspired by my birthday. Let's not even front. And let's just clarify a couple things. I am fully clothed. I'm wearing my, my dress. If you guys know me, you would understand the severity of this event in my life. Like every year I've had a crazy birthday, full blown glamazon, like everyone dress code. You can't come unless you're in proper attire. And you know what? This year I just kind of woke up and I was like, whatever, it's just another birthday. Let's see if I can go without making a huge deal out of it. And so I deserve a cookie, maybe five, maybe 10. So my birthday aside, I hope that you can rock this for your own birthday. And also, for those of you attending prom, hello, you can wear it for prom as well. And for the look, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. I just received it in the mail, and I am digging these colors. They are super fierce. The lip color, you can definitely switch out to whatever you like. I'm gonna show you guys two different lip combos, and I ended up obviously going with this, just because I feel like it's more wearable for most of the population. And and yeah, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and tell everybody that you know to subscribe. Basically spread the word. And if you wanna get social, you know where to find me. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, all under Beta Beauty. All right, let's jump right into this tutorial. Usually you know that I like to do my eyes first and then do my face, but today I don't wanna put you guys through having to stare at my pimple situation. So we're gonna go ahead and do the face, do the contour, do the damn thing, and then move to the eyes. So let's jump right into it. First off, let's start with priming the face, and since I'm gonna be assuming you're going somewhere that you want your makeup to last all night long, I'm gonna use two different primers, and I'll explain why. So we're gonna use the Hourglass, a full pump, and run this on the perimeters of my face. So if you're not really oily and you don't have enlarged pores, you could just totally skip this and put this all over your face, but your sister's got issues here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Becca primer and I'm gonna warm it up in my hands and then press it on to my skin. And this step is so important, literally the prepping of your skin is so important. Well in this case we're priming, I've already prepped with skincare before. If you want your makeup to look flawless, it's not just about the makeup, it's about the skincare and the preparation. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid Liquid Foundation by shaking it really, really well, and then just tap it a little bit, and I'm gonna apply a decent amount to the back of my hands. And then I like to use my dual fiber brush when I use this specific foundation, just because it's more of a buildable coverage, so you have to build layers as you go. So let's go ahead and do that. What's great about this foundation is that it comes on super matte and if you want something that's going to last you all night, you don't want anything dewy, this is great. Next let's go ahead and take my favorite thing in the world, the Laura Mercier Smooth Focus Press Setting Powder and I'm just going to take a brush like this and literally pat it over my T-zone only because I'm gonna go ahead and contour with cream first so I don't wanna put any powder right over here just yet. Since we're gonna be doing the eye makeup, I'm actually not even gonna do my under eye concealer until after the fact. I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in number eight, which is Walnut, and apply a very tiny amount to my cheekbones. I just like to keep it on the minimal side of life. I don't do the whole jaw thing, it just doesn't work for me. I'm, I have too hairy of a face for that. 
It does not look cute. And I'm using a mini dual fiber brush to blend this out. And then the remainder, I'm gonna work it up to my temples and my forehead. Next, let's take this Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. I use all three colors to deepen my contour. I'm gonna take my good old Ben Nye Powder in Cameo and my Dampen Beauty Blender and just run this right under my contour. Really, not really. And this is awesome because usually I never have enough time to let it really set for like the 10 to 20 minutes that you're supposed to let it set. So I guess today we're gonna have time to do that because we're gonna be working on the eyes next. And if you are wondering, this technique is called baking, cooking, whatever you wanna call it. I've been doing it for some time now just because I saw it on TV and I was like, damn, I gotta try that. I love when I do this technique. I feel like my makeup just looks so fierce in pictures. And really like the concept behind it is that your own body's heat melts the product into your skin. It has a longer lasting power because the makeup has really set into the skin. I just want it to look chiseled and clean. That's really why I like to use it. So we're gonna let this sit. Actually, let me just contour my nose a bit. And this is just how I like to contour my nose. Depending on your nose shape, you're not gonna be doing it this exact way. So. And you guys already know this. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of powder to set this. My rocks, flawless. I literally look crazy, but that's okay. That's nothing new though. I am now going to take my soft, oh, get ready for the potty. All right, now that the eyes are primed, I'm actually gonna do one eye off camera and then we'll do this eye together, so be right back. First things first, I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with Matt Gesso. And then before we get really started, I'm gonna go ahead and coat my lashes with a little bit of Benefit The Real Mascara. This is just to get my eyelashes ready for my lashes, because I'm gonna be applying both bottom and obviously top lashes. We're gonna take the Artist Palette in the color Dusty Rose as our transition shade. Today I decided that I actually don't want to do a wing, but I'm going to create my eyeshadow shape to mimic it. Obviously this all depends on your eye shape because we all have different eye shapes. This placement is best for almond eyes. Play with these colors and the placement on your particular eye shape. So I want to apply my tear duct color right about now and I'm using Urban Decay Zephyr, however way you like to pronounce it, right onto the tear duct, right here. Let's start off with Aubergine. I mean, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but we're just going to pretend it is. And a shader brush and I'm just going to apply this onto the outer corner of my eye in a wing shape. And we're going to repeat this step and continue blending until we get the desired depth. And then we're gonna go in with coal right here and deepen everything to make it look like this. So I'm just gonna fast forward and you guys can watch me apply, blend out, and apply some more. And I'm just gonna smooth out the edges with this blending brush and then take a Q-tip that's been dipped in makeup remover and clean up the edge. Okay, so now that I have like kind of the shape that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and take this color. It's called Celestine. Of course, with my Too Faced, sorry, I'm not looking at you guys real quick, real quick. Okay, so how I'm gonna apply this for it to be very dramatic is first I'm going to apply my Too Faced glitter glue with my Monda 430 brush. Press this onto your eyelid and you want to do this in a very thin layer because if you apply too much at once it will start crumbling. You can definitely add layers 
to deepen the color, but don't add it all at once. Hopefully you have patience because this look is all about blending. In order for this to look its maximum fierce level, you need to be blending. Depression Story 101, I lost my favorite eyeliner from Greece, the one that I always use, and now I'm stuck using a bunch of janky ones. Not even MAC eyeliners can compete, so now I'm calling my friends from all over the world, trying to ask them to send me that eyeliner. So. I want to create a tiny little point. So I'm going to take my slanted brush and line underneath my waterline. Okay, then I'm going to take this shader brush and just blend everything out so it's not so perfect looking. Take your MAC 217 and just run it along. And this will help smooth it out and make it look less sharp. Before I move on to anything else, I actually want to take a little bit of this color blue velvet and blend it into my outer portion of my shadow because the glitter has like a cool grayish undertone and this blue is just gonna make it pop just a little, so. The next thing I want to do is I'm actually going to apply individual lashes to my lower lash line and this is something that I have been loving. It just makes my eyes look more va va boom and we're just going to fast forward real quick. And then I like to push them up just a tad bit. Next I'm going to apply Noor Fairy by House of Lashes. Thank God the next step is concealer because the ratchetivities under my eyes are getting a little out of hand. So I'm going to use Perfection by Lorac. Obviously we're coming to a wrap, so I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and just dust all this off. I'm gonna take my Pro Sculpting Duo by Makeup Forever and literally I've been drinking this stuff like every day, every day and just apply a little bit to the cheeks. Okay, let me go do my hair. I will be right back real quick. Oh God, I can't decide. Y'all, I can't decide. So let's say you were feeling extra bold. This is what you would do, and the combo that I used is Vino, and then I actually ended up adding a little bit of vamp to it. Yeah, I think we're gonna go lighter. I don't like how it's photographing. All right guys, this look is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, Give it a thumbs up and make sure to write below like any suggestions or anything you guys particularly want to see. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Shit, your wife in the backseat on my brand new foreign car. Don't act like you forgot. I caught a shot, shot, shot. Like blah, blah, blah. Bish better hammer money. Blend, blend, blend away. I'm just gonna line my water. I'm, what the freak? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. But like, I hope it looks good. Don't act like you don't know me. I am loving, loving this. Please don't call me on my blood. Now here is where we're gonna have issues and we're gonna need some tissues. Smooth finish, fluid, flawless fluid. What, why?